Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so as you can probably recognise, I have had a lot of my hair cut off. So you'll probably see from at the start of this clip, we had two images, me with the long hair and now me with the short hair. Why did I do it? So a lot of people uh, will, of course, be wondering that, predominantly my subscribers who have followed me throughout my journey of trying to grow long hair. So why on earth, after growing long hair, would I have then cut it all off? Let me tell you a little bit about this style festival, which I've gone for. So I love a style which has got a lot of volume on top because it accentuates fullness in fine looking hair. Now, you may and actually fine looking and fine hair itself and thinning hair. Now, a lot of people who have uh, been following my journey since May of this year will know that I've gone through a lot of stress, uh, a lot of health problems and still going through that. And unfortunately, to report that things aren't getting necessarily easier, um, I can see an end to it, but it, but we're having lots of appointments and one thing and another going through. And that's just kind of like the general consensus of everything going on at the moment. I'm under a genetics uh, specialist, so a geneticist um, as a potential condition, uh, which potentially will hold the key for a lot of what I'm going through at the moment. And ultimately what that is, is a lot of surgeries I've had done, a lot of kind of stomach related issues, um, a lot of just general health, in a way sometimes debilitating, um, on top of real nasty vertigo, um, uh, a kind of a whole series of things which affect me on a day to day basis and sometimes make life incredibly difficult but however i am not defined by my health at all but one thing which really really bugs me is when it starts to affect my hair now any operation i've gone through in the past couple of years in about the last five years and i had uh, an operation in 2017 i had another operation in 2018 then i had a break then i had another operation uh, i think 2020 2020 yes and then I had my biggest operation in uh, May of 2021. On top of that, I lost my grandmother, who was my absolute world, that very same month, a couple of days after my surgery. Um, so we, we went through all of that. And I'm still going through that now. Um, because when you love somebody that much, it doesn't go away. In fact, I'll be quite honest, sometimes it gets worse when your heart's breaking for that person. So on all of this, I was expecting changes to happen with my hair. I was very fortunate this year to get away and do quite a lot of traveling. But around the same time, I was noticing that was when my hair was really starting to fall out. Now, here, and I haven't been able to cover it as well as, but behind here, so you'll see this bit behind here and this here. Behind here is almost like a triangle of loss. OK, you can see I can't quite hide it fully in the hairline, but I don't think it's too bad. Now, the person who I've had my hair cut with, okay, so the front is still about to my chin, but that was about here, I want to say, now. So I've lost about, you say, about the four inches off the front. The back is really gone, to be honest, and it's probably about towards the bottom of my ear. So I say gone, so I've had about the six inches mark probably cut off. The front, probably less than that. What I don't like is how it's been left cut. Now, this is a person who's been cutting my hair for a long time. They know what I was trying to achieve. Why did I have my hair cut? Well, to be quite honest with you, because it was just falling out so much. For about the last three weeks, not so much. But from May up until that point, I was losing more and more hair. And my hair was starting to feel noticeably thinner, especially this side. So I had a nice sort of thickness from the back, but then the front was much, much thinner. So I had it cut into to try and disguise the sparseness on this side. Um, and trying to mix it up a little bit but in fact actually it was just lifeless and it really had sort of it looked as though it had really suffered to be quite honest with you some of my clips i, I used a lot of tricks and tips to make it look a lot fuller than what it actually was um and in places it was quite gappy and there was a lot gone which from having to the time to grow my hair out and capture that on my channel it was really difficult then to make that decision to have it cut off at the end of the day hair is only hair but of course it's a great place to start when you're having a bad day whether that be emotionally whether that be physically or going through something i always say it's that framing feature of all of us men and women we all want to look great and hair has that amazing ability to be able to make us feel on top of the world or to make us feel really really down 
A couple of days ago, I had this haircut, and I was really looking forward to making that decision. And I was still, until I was sat in the chair, very, very, very unsure. And now a lot of people will say, I actually put something on my community post that I was thinking of having shorter hair. Well, one incredible lady came back to me and said that I had really nice hair anyway, and if I was unsure, don't do it. I had nice hair. And bless her, I really did think of that comment for a long, long time. And then the following day, I styled my hair. Uh, I was getting ready for work. I styled my hair. And on this particular day, because I was going for an important meeting, I thought I'd pass the straightener through it. Now, anybody will think that fine hair, passing a straightener through it will make it look even finer. But I really, really liked it in my kind of, I'm going to say, heyday of a cool hair, where I straightened it past through it. It was sort of, because it was touching my shoulders, it would flick a little bit, and it had that nice texture. And with volume, I would go against the grain of how my hair grew. So it looked really nice. So I have a passing this side. Hair down this side, hair that side. Now, when I used to do that in my heyday, when my hair was in its top shape and top health condition, um, it looked brilliant. But then, do you know what? I styled it. I went out. I came back, finished work, looked at it. And it had really woke me up to think that just how much my hair had changed and just how much my hair had almost took that frail characteristic on the actual lengths of my hair felt so much more finer thinner and every time i touched it just the hair came away and i mean lots so then although i was really experiencing a reduction because of some products which i'm using from the neoxin range well some of my subscribers will know i didn't actually like that when i reviewed that a while back but i've i've really done some research on it i've been trying some products at the moment from that family um and they are really making some change but sadly i started it far too late um in terms for it to help because at the time everything just wasn't seemed to be helping um i've gone through some tests and things because the doctor thought it was thyroid issues i'm happy to report that apparently everything there was fine but however after looking at my scalp and investigating the areas where which is concerning me which is here and behind that hairline it was very much put down to stress and the characteristics of stress related hair loss so that's what it's been put down to as now of course Having that fine length hair, the front just looked incredibly thin and limp. Um, so I was using quite a lot of different things to make it look thicker, which in actually matter of fact was making the length feel much more drier. Um, so in the end, I just thought, you know what, enough was enough. It really looked frail, washed out, to be quite honest with you, um, and time to go. So do I like the style which I've got now? I'm not very keen on the back, but I have to admit, I'm gonna perhaps I'm gonna perhaps start to use um some sort of product, uh, I'm going to have a look at that um, and sort of brush it back and I can still just and just get it in a band at the back and I really, really like that look. So that's probably what I'm going to go for. I do like this look. Um, I like that texture and as you can see what I've got going on, you can probably see it just behind here and actually here I've got the lot because this is the length. So I've got the length and as you can see and I've got it this way. So I've used a blow dryer today in the front and I've really tried to really carefully build that volume in the front here and just passing um, like an oblong style brush through towards the ceiling so I can get that volume. Then I've took a little bit of uh, clay, moulding clay, uh, moulding, I think it was by a VO5, but please don't quote me on that, but I'm going to review some products coming forward. But I have to admit, when I have shorter hair like this, I like a good clay or a pomade, which I can use uh, throughout my hands first of all, then I pull the hair up towards the ceiling firstly, and then I position it into place exactly how I've just done with my hands here, literally like that, and you can see that action which I've got. And I lock it all in with a free spray. My favourite is by Schwarzkraft, got to be blasting free spray, and that holds it in place. Um, really, really like that. Anything boosting for volume when you're struggling with um, hair full problems that type of thing um is really an added bonus so anything like that i'm really very interested which i really really like to use um i haven't got any products in at all today the only one i have got in sorry is the neoxin uh but with sandalore and that's a thickening day spray and that tries to work on the anchoring of the follicles uh to your scalp or your hair sorry to your scalp more that process so that locking process to your scalp and working on that optimum environment to grow thicker, uh, healthier hair and hold on to that hair as long as possible. We're going to be reviewing that shortly. Not in this clip though. 
So do stay tuned for that. And I hope that's answered a lot of questions. If there is anything which somebody wants to know, then more than happy to to answer questions. Um, do I love the style? No. Do I wish I could have kept my longer hair? Yeah, absolutely. I do, because I think as we evolve in life, different things suit us. And of course, when you revisit things from years ago, I mean, I haven't worn my hair like this for a couple of years now. Um, I'm not the same person through health and one thing or another. I'm 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 gen generally not. My interests are the same. I still love to style hair, uh, my own hair, of course. But then I'm saying that because I used to cut in style um, my nan's hair. Um, she had absolutely beautiful hair right up into the age of ninety five. Incredible hair. Um, I cut my brother's hair. Uh, I cut my dad's hair. Um, my mum's hair I even cut. Um, my brother's partner's hair. Uh, so yeah, all of that taught myself. And just a little bit of a, a tip there, how I taught myself was when my nana had uh, Alzheimer's and she could no longer visit the salon um, until uh, a bit of a change in her life. And then she was at the salon all the time, bless her. Um, I knew how much that meant to my nan. So what I would do, I taught myself um, through YouTube videos and uh, online and all sorts of things of how to cut layered hair um, and fringes and all things like that. And in the end, my nan um, could continue having her hair done because my mum would colour it for her and I would cut it and then together we'd style it for her so she would still rock an amazing hairstyle just exactly like how my nan would and of course it meant the world because that was done with love and we got to spend that incredible time together which is something I will always treasure and always cherish um, and that's a very very magical memory of, me, of mine um, and certainly of nan's um, okay, so that's how I can do all of that, which I really, really love. I'm not amazing, but I've had great compliments from it. Everybody used to love how I used to do my nan's hair. And when I do my mum's, a lot of people comment on that as well. And my twin brother absolutely loves how I cut his hair too. Um, only just this weekend gone, my eldest brother has got tight curly hair. Um, and I styled that for him. Um, we haven't got pictures, I'm afraid, on here. I, I do wish to respect the privacy of my family. Um, and of course, this is my channel. I capture a lot of things on my channel. Um, my nan is no longer with me, so I haven't got her here to ask, but there is pictures of her on my channel. Um, my mum does not wish to be on my on my channel at all. She's very, uh, very private and I respect that. Um, my twin brother, you will have seen some of my subscribers. He is featured on my channel and he sports a very short, choppy uh, style, which um, looks always super, super cool. Um, and my eldest brother isn't actually on my channel at all. Um, but yeah, absolutely. So there we go. So that's the update of my hairstyle uh, currently. And as I say, I like it. I don't like this gappiness going on here, but it's not the end of the world. And if that's all we had to worry about at the end of the day as well, wouldn't it be great in this life? It truly would. But as I said, if you have any questions at all for me, please feel free to ask them. I'm not afraid to answer any questions at all. Um, and I will always be transparent, very, very open and integral in my responses. I will always be honest. Um, and, I, and if anyone has a question, I will always really try to help, to be quite honest with you as well. OK, so thank you very, very much indeed. I'm, I've really enjoyed doing this. As I say, I'm not a fan of this style now, I have to admit. It looks good for now, but I will be looking to grow my hair back um, to that same length, probably. But working on keeping it thicker and fuller and first things first, I'm using the Neoxin Shampoo Conditioner System, the Daily Treatment, the Nighttime Serum and the Daytime Spray as well. Cost wise, that worked around just around about the £100 mark for all of those products. We'll be looking at them in greater detail soon. And those products um, are really helping me get the roots of my hair much more thicker and are slowing down that hair loss and are helping me grow it through. And hopefully in weeks to come, months to come, it will come back through thicker. Of course, there's other products which I absolutely love as well. It's probably worth mentioning them right now as well. So that's the L'Oreal Professional Cerioxyl Shampoo Conditioner and Denser Hair Serum, which I have done some clips on too. My more favourite sort of day-to-day -day shampoos and conditioners, because they're your premium top range hair care systems for hair thinning and hair loss, and of course prevention as well, is I absolutely love the Fight Hair Fall uh, by OGX uh, Organics Shampoo and Conditioner, which is really, really great. It's quite a rarity to find that one around now, um, but it is a really great favourite of mine. The other one by... Uh, Organics OGX is the biotin and collagen shampoo conditioner. They also do a dry shampoo spray uh, as well, which boosts volume in the hair too. Really, really love that uh, shampoo conditioner system. Really, really like that one. Another one which I like is the, I believe I pronounced this right, the Simons, uh, Fit Simons, I believe. I can't quite remember it now. It's in the red bottle shampoo and conditioner, and that one's on my channel as well. 
I can't quite remember it, but anyway, what I will do um, is I will add that one on the end of this clip here, and if you are still watching, then please do watch that one, because that's a favourite of mine as well, and that's got the caffeine in the shampoo and in the conditioner too, and I really, really like that one as well. And then off the top of my head, another one I really, really like was the Greens Volumizing Aveeno Shampoo Conditioner, and those are the ones which I would absolutely recommend off the top of my head and are favourites for growing thicker, fuller, healthier hair and helping that optimum scalp environment so you can keep on enjoying healthy hair growth. Okay, so thank you very much indeed. And until next time, God bless, take great care and wishing you healthy hair. Until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.